The Hawker Hurricane was the first in a new generation of British monoplane fighters that bore the brunt of the war in the West. Development began in 1933 under the leadership of Seacam. Sir Sidney Kong, August 5, 1893 to March 12, 1966, was a British aircraft designer, chief designer of Hawker from 1920 until his death. He is known primarily as the creator of the Hawker Hurricane fighter jet. Biography Sidney Kong was born in Windsor in 1893, the son of a carpenter. His father introduced his sons to labor from a young age. The brothers are seriously interested in building models of flying, and in 1912, Sidney founded the Windsor Model Aircraft Club. The skills gained in the design of their models helped him get a job at the Martinseed Aircraft Company, where Sidney worked under the direction of chief designer J. H. Handside. While at Martinseed, Kim learned everything Handside could teach him and then moved to Hawker Engineering Company as a senior draftsman. Kim soon proved himself by designing the ultralight Hawker Signet Sport utility vehicle, which performed well in air races. Two years later, Kim was appointed Hawker chief designer, replacing W.J. Carter who left for Gloucester. Engine, Rolls-Royce Merlin II. Power 1030 horsepower. Length of the aircraft, 9.58 meters. Height of the aircraft, 4,01 m. Wing area, 23.97 square meters. Weight, kilograms. Empty aircraft, 2,156. Takeoff weight, 2,826. Maximal speed, 509 km per hour. Rate of climb 8.5 meters per second. Practical ceiling, 9,970 meters. Flying range, 840 km. The project went through a long evolution, originally the car was conceived as a relatively simple conversion of the Fury biplane into a monoplane. Gradually, conceptual changes were made to the project, the main of which were the introduction of a new Rolls-Royce PV.12 engine, the future Merlin, retractable landing gear and reinforced armament, eight machine guns. The final appearance of the new plane was determined by the F.36-34 specification, which described the machine as a single-seat fighter, high-speed monoplane. The Hurricane had a mixed fuselage design, steel truss, supplemented by plywood ribs and stringers, with dural plating at the front and linen plating at the tail. The wing was originally made of wood, but by the spring of 1940 all serial Hurricanes received an all-metal wing. The Hurricane prototype first flew on November 6, 1935. The designers had to overcome a number of problems, which were revealed during tests, to increase the radiator in order to avoid overheating of the engine, to strengthen the frame of the cockpit canopy, to change a little the mechanization of the wing, etc. Although it did not reach its design speed of 560 km per hour, it was the first British airplane to reach 300 miles per hour, 483 km per hour. Maneuverability and controllability were considered good. On June 3, 1936, the Air Ministry ordered the first production batch of 600 Hurricanes. Total production in Great Britain was 12,875 aircraft, and including production in Canada, Belgium, Yugoslavia exceeded 14,500. Basic Modifications of the Hawker Hurricane Hurricane MK.L, Merlin 2 or 3 engine, 1,030 horsepower. Armament, 87.7 mm Browning machine guns, 338 rounds per barrel. Supplies began in December 1937. Some of the early aircraft were modified by replacing the fixed pitch propeller with three-blade variable pitch propeller, wood wing with metal wing, improved armor protection and other modifications. In England it produced 3,774 aircraft. In addition to Great Britain, were also built in Canada, Yugoslavia, and Belgium. Hurricane MK.IIA, engine Merlin XX, 1,460 HP. It was tested since June 11, 1940, deliveries to units began in September 1940. Only 451 aircraft were produced. Hurricane MK.IIB, armed with 12 7.7mm machine guns. It was produced since November 1940. 
From the middle of 1941 the planes were equipped with bomb racks for two 113 kg bombs. In total, 2,948 machines were produced. Hurricane MK.IIC, 420mm British Espano cannons, a total of 364 rounds, were mounted on the wing. Small-scale production began in February 1941, full-scale production in May. The Hawker Company built 4,711 aircraft, making this modification the most mass-produced hurricane. The Hurricane MK.IID was an anti-tank variant armed with two 40mm guns and two 7.7mm machine guns. A small batch received Rolls-Royce BF cannons, 12 rounds per gun, but most were fitted with Vickers S guns, 15 rounds. Tests began in September 1941 and production began in the spring of 1942. Hawker produced 296 aircraft. Hurricane MK.4, originally designated MK.LLE, assault variant with reinforced armor. The Hurricane MK.X was a Canadian-made version of the MK.I with a Packard Merlin 28 engine and American propeller. 268 aircraft were produced, of which 243 were delivered to Great Britain. Hurricane MK.11, analog of MK.X with Canadian airborne equipment instead of British. 50 units were produced. Hurricane MK.12, Packard Merlin engine 29. Armament, 8, MK.XIIA, or 12, MK.XIIB, 7.7mm machine guns. 967 aircraft were produced. See Hurricane, MK.I. Designation for conventional Hurricane MK.I fighters transferred to naval aviation. Had no special equipment for use from decks or catapults, used only from coastal airfields. See Hurricanes MK.IA, aircraft adapted for use from catapults mounted on merchant ships, camships. They were equipped with a catapult hook, inflatable rescue boat, and automatic cockpit canopy drop device. About 50 aircraft were converted since early 1941. Sea Hurricane, MK.IB is a full-fledged deck fighter for operation from aircraft carriers. Equipped with a braking hook. Modified by General Aircraft Company from standard MK.I Hurricanes. The Sea Hurricane MK.IC, several dozen MK.I Hurricanes converted to deck-mounted version, armed with four 20mm guns. Sea Hurricanes MK.IIB, MK.IIC, and MK.XIIA were the deck-mounted variants of the corresponding Hurricane versions. About 200 Hurricanes MK.L and MK.LL were converted into PRMK.2, TACRMK.2, and FRMK.2 photo reconnaissance aircraft. Combat use of Hawker Hurricanes Deliveries of Hurricanes to combat units began at the very end of 1937. The 11th Air Force was the first to acquire them. By the beginning of World War II, the Royal Air Force received 497 aircraft of this type. 18 squadrons were flying them, and three more were in the process of rearmament. Already in September 1939 four AAEs were sent as part of the Expeditionary Corps to France. During the strange war the aviation activity was limited mainly to reconnaissance and patrolling. Air battles were infrequent. By the time the German Blitzkrieg began in the West on May 10, 1940, there were six squadrons of hurricanes in France, and three more squadrons were immediately transferred to reinforce them. The British fighters covered the attempted advance of the Expeditionary Corps into Belgium and then the retreat to the English Channel coast. By the end of the campaign 13 Hurricanes squadrons were already at war in France, but they could not prevent the Wehrmacht offensive. The Royal Air Force lost 261 Hurricanes in France, about two-thirds of them damaged and abandoned during the retreat. In late May and early June 1940, the 46th AE participated in the fighting in Norway. During the Battle of Britain, the Hurricane continued to be the main British fighter, in early July 1940. 28 AES flew these aircraft. Because the aircraft had inferior flying characteristics to the German BF 1090, the Royal Air Force sought to use hurricanes in conjunction with Spitfires, the former broke through to the bombers, the latter tied up the Messerschmitts in combat. By the end of September there were 35 squadrons flying hurricanes. These planes made a significant contribution to the victory. 57% of enemy planes shot down during the Battle of Britain were hurricane pilots. 
Later these planes continued to be on duty in Britain's air defense system, operating both by day and at night. Beginning in the spring of 1941, hurricanes took an active part in raids against the enemy's coast. This task remained their primary one until 1944. The use of cannon-armed planes, MK.IIC, MK.IID, and MK.4, was especially widespread in these raids. Since July 1940, hurricanes were based in Malta, operated in Egypt since September, and in February 1941 appeared in Greece. In May they defended Crete and suppressed the insurrection of Rashid Ali in Iraq, and then helped to dislodge the Vichy troops from Lebanon and Syria. In late August-October 1941 the 151st wing, two hurricanes, defended Murmansk. In North Africa, units armed with hurricanes participated in all campaigns up to the capitulation of Italian-German forces in Tunis in 1943. In January 1942 such planes appeared in the Far East fighting in Singapore and Sumatra. Hurricanes were used in Massé in India and Burma, 11 Air Corps armed with them were operating in August 1942 in that theater, and by June 1943 that number had risen to 16. The hurricanes fought in Burma until the end of World War II, operating as fighter bombers and attack aircraft.